welcome to my channel. This is Linda Via Creations. Today I have something very exciting for you. It's one of my new journals and it the theme is Art Nouveau. And I actually fell in love with Art Nouveau all over again, just looking at these beautiful, beautiful pictures. And I hope that you feel the same. And also this is one of two journals that I did on Art Nouveau. They were just so beautiful. I had so much stuff. I just felt like I had to make two. So let's get into this. Um, the material that I used, and I do use it very often, I'm going to show you what that is. And it is Craft Text. You get it on Amazon, it's amazing. You can paint it, you can make purses, you can make wallets, you can not paint it. It comes in colors. I just get the natural color and paint it whatever color I want. Okay, enough about this. Um, the journal is named Irene, which was a very popular name back in uh, the Art Nouveau time. Let's uh, talk a little bit about the cover of this journal. This is a stick pen, very easily to remove this beautiful dangle so your book will lay flat if you need to be. This piece of material was from Amazon and I've mentioned that before. It's just the best price you can find anywhere. And I was so excited to get it. It was just beautiful and matched everything about this journal. The ribbon came from Hobby Lobby. It's just the velvet. And I brought in the black to match uh, some of the beautiful decor with this material. This measures nine inches by six and a half. It's one signature. And uh, that stick pen, by the way, came from Hobby Lobby in case you wanted to know. And I did use a digital kit, not on all the pages, and that is from calico collage and uh, some of the pages are from recollections uh, kits as well so let's open it and I get to show you this beautiful beautiful stuff inside on the inside cover is a beautiful piece of material I believe I got from Joann's and this lovely picture isn't she just gorgeous? I just um, sprayed her with the gold shimmer spray. And this is one of my dyes that I used and I just colored it with some of the Distress ink and inked around the edges. I left a lot of pages to journal on this time for people that love to journal. And this is another one of my cutouts that I use all the time. I just love it. This trim is from Hobby Lobby. And this picture was from um, General Domain. And isn't it, it just looks so Art Nouveau. And here's another Art Nouveau that I got from the, I believe on Pinterest. And this was a stained glass picture. I just thought that was lovely. Over here. Um, this is out of a magazine. It's a really beautiful, beautiful stork, I believe, in that lavender setting and just some green backing. And here are two gorgeous Art Nouveau women. I think one is summer and one is fall. And you could certainly journal on the back of these. I just thought they were so pretty. This is a piece of vellum and I've just put one of my cutouts and some of that digital paper behind there. The next page is a beautiful woman. There I go using beautiful again. She's a gorgeous woman, isn't she? Art Nouveau, she's got this beautiful gold necklace. Her hair is beautiful with the birds and from gifted from my, my sister again as usual and I just put some netting and gold trim over it. This is a printout 
from one of those books that I told you about before that has the CD attached to it and you just pick what you want and I just blinged it up with some glitter. Here's another one of those beautiful bookmarks that you could um, journal on the back if you'd like. This is, I think this is one of my favorite in this whole book, journal, I'm sorry. It's a picture of a stained glass window off of Pinterest. And I had this great trim and it almost makes it look like a curtain over this window, which I just fell in love with. This is another one of my favorite cutouts. Um, she's very famous, I've seen her many, many times. I'm sorry I don't know her name. Put a little bit of bling up here in this gorgeous button that I found at Joann's. They only had one, I would have bought more. Just made a little clip with some netting and uh, rhinestones to match. Love peacocks and in the 19, um, 1820s, Peacocks were so very popular. Had this great looking trim that I thought went very well with the peacocks. And here's a couple of pictures of peacocks because like I said, they were so popular. Look at those colors, they're just amazing. Another place for journaling. I just blinged her up, part of a digital. Put some rhinestones a little vellum cut out with a flower. And I think I showed this in the last journal, just letting you see a peek of what was coming. This is definitely Art Nouveau jewelry. I think it's exquisite. It was at Hobby Lobby. You could make it into earrings because it's just, it's perfect. Love the trim. This is a beautiful vellum frame around this cutout that I did. I just like the way that looked. Here's another great page for journaling as well. I know I said that page back there was my favorite, but I have many, many favorites in this, in this journal. I just can't help it. This is some trim and I put this beautiful netting over the edge and then a beautiful cutout. So cute. This is a copy of a purse from that time. Isn't that, wouldn't you like to have one of those? I'm sure this is pink velvet and it just like fades into peach velvet. Beautiful. With some room for journaling on the back. This is another beaded purse. Just drop dead gorgeous. I just put some edging that I bought from Amazon. More beautiful journaling space. And look at this one. Has, you can set it, it looks like it's maybe leather, not sure. All these beautiful beads, a beaded handle. I just put this silk flower just to pull in that color. And again, some more great space for journaling. So beautiful, just can't tell you. This I thought was ginkgo, but I'm not sure now. My sister looked at this and said, no, I don't think that's ginkgo, but we're not sure what it is, but it's just really, really beautiful. And I've added a couple of postcards. She said, uh, this one is December and this one says Mars. So I, it's in a different language, so I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure someone out there knows what that means. It's part of a calendar, I believe. Gorgeous woman here in the background, one of those printouts. This is another cutout. I just blinged it up, another cutout. And I really try hard to find pictures that maybe you have not seen before, that I have not seen. And I thought I'd seen everything, but I hadn't seen her before and she's just exquisite. She's of course um, showing off the bottle of wine, which they did so much of, was put these beautiful women, room for journaling, in ads for everything you can think of. That was just amazing. This one, as you probably know, very famous. Gold trim, 
from Hobby Lobby, that beautiful netting, and there she is. She is amazingly beautiful. Just perfect for Art Nouveau time. And we're at the middle of the single signature, and I just put these beautiful charms on here for you to enjoy. I certainly enjoy them. Next page is a um, picture from a public domain. I just used one of my cutouts and put in here a few more postcards. This one I believe is June and October. Aren't they gorgeous? This page, I'm sure we've discussed this before. I've just torn the page in half glued some vellum in between and it just gives you that beautiful look. I Such an easy thing to do and it just makes such a big difference. And inside is this beautiful woman dressed in pink with all of the grapes and the flowers and oh my gosh, she's, she's gorgeous. Another one, very famous, both of these. Just you can find them almost anywhere. They're so very pretty. On the next page, I did the same thing, only reverse. I used the vellum, gold vellum, and put this gorgeous picture in the middle. Little cut out. Every flower is a soul blooming in nature by Gerard de Nivelle. I'm sure I didn't say his name right. And just put this little heart where you can journal on in. And in this little pocket, is a beautiful picture of a stained glass. I just blinged it up as usual. Left you a lot of room for journaling there. I love these colors. I'll pick this up so you can get a really good picture of her. She's amazing. All the gold and the blue just fit this so well. This is definitely Art Nouveau design as well as everything else. Here's a little fold out you can journal on. You could cut these cards up, put a little note on them. Somebody would love that with the pictures of all the beautiful girls behind it. So pretty. In this little pocket, another one of my little lace fold outs. They're all so glamorous and romantic. Beautiful place to do some journaling on. That is one thing about this time that I found that the women are just so elegant and free and everything you can think of, definitely romantic and absolutely confident. Oh my goodness. Just, it's amazing. Over here, beautiful picture of dragonflies with one of my favorite cutouts. I'm not sure where I got that, but if I can find the packaging, I will link it. And look at that butterfly. I believe it's a moth, not a butterfly. Whatever. Just put some bling, some beautiful trim. And look at that one. My sister told me the name of that bird, but I'm sorry, I it escapes me at this point. If I can remember, I will tell you. These little sequins are flower-shaped. Aren't they cute? Love those. Another little snippet of just some beautiful material, a little bit of lace, and that gorgeous trim. I hope you enjoy this picture as much as I do. I have a die that cuts this frame. I found this as most of my pictures on the web. Beautiful trim. And it says, that word, that kiss, shall all throughout else survive. Amazing. I've used her before, I know I have, but she's just too beautiful not to repeat. Don't. I hope you agree. Just stamp the background with some, um, with one of my, I'm sorry, it's not, it's a 
stencil. I stencil the background, sorry. Um, and it just looked so great with her, I love that. This is another one of those pictures from the book that has a CD that I listed in my last um, journal, but it, it will be on this one as well. I just blinged it up. This is a picture of a, an Art Nouveau lamp. Isn't that precious? Uh, look at the chain pulls, the little flowers. Just gorgeous. Stenty, st sorry, stenciled the back. Uh, we're getting toward the end here. This is a little bling I made with some netting and some of my beads to hold this envelope behind this beautiful piece of lace. This is some washi tape, more washi tape, which actually is uh, Art Nouveau tape. And here she is in all of her glory. Is she exquisite? She's very famous. I'm sure you've seen her before and just did some stenciling on the back. I lined this envelope with a doily, which I thought was really fun and very pretty, to say the least. I also have another clip here. It's just a glass heart bead with some netting and a little bit of uh, rhinestone to match this great place to journal on. Here's some more washi tape on this envelope and I did it to match these beautiful pictures. Some of these pictures, if you dare to venture on the internet and look up some of these beautiful pictures, I believe this one, the original, sold for like $27,000. It's just crazy. <laughs> It's just crazy. This is one, uh, another picture of the one of the bookmarkers that I had, but just a little change in the color. And here's another one of my favorite parts. This jewelry that they wore. I, who wouldn't love to have one of those and wear that? And these, these butterfly wings, earrings and they've just hung them on a glass just to display them so beautifully. And another purse. They're just so pretty. I, I, I could not not add that because it's just so beautiful and tons of place to journal on for sure. This is a card my sister gave me and it was so pretty. I just put in here this amazing Art Nouveau woman. I made cards out of her in the past year and she was just so fitting. I just um, colored it a little bit, put some netting behind her and she's ready to go and she's exquisite. You can just feel the power and everything that she has to give. It's just gorgeous. I love this trim, this belly band. It just glistens and sparkles and makes me smile, as does she. She's a woman of confidence. Look at her sitting there in her gorgeous chair with that sword in her hand. She's just everything we want to be. Just some stenciling, beautiful. And that brings us to the end of my journal. I hope you fell in love with Art Nouveau again, as I did. And if this is your first time, please explore it. It is amazing. And I would like to ask you one more thing. If you enjoyed this book, could you please hit the like button and subscribe? I truly appreciate it. It's just, uh, letting me know that I need to continue down this path, making beautiful things for all of us to enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer anything I can. Again, thanks.